ensure candidates fit and proper for upcoming election. Millions of workers in India are on strike protesting the government's economic policies. And in sports, Lewis hits undefeated 99 as Wendy's defeat Ireland. These and other stories coming up in SOG TV News and Sports at 6.45. That was the news headline sponsored in part by Flo... Welcome to SVG TV News and Sports for Wednesday, January 8th, 2020. I'm Yvesta Boynes with the details. SVG and other parts of the region were for a short period yesterday under a tsunami alert following a magnitude 6.4 earthquake in Puerto Rico. This alert has since been cancelled. However, there were reports this morning of another earthquake, this time in Dominica, measuring a 5.2 magnitude. Director of National Emergency Management Organization, NEMO, Michelle Forbes, said while SVG is not under any watch or warning at this time, persons must remain on the alert as earthquakes are a reminder that the region is seismically active and persons always need to be prepared. We have been a warning for earthquakes and incidents and warning. So we, our warning is basically the, sh the shaking. That's when we feel it. So earthquakes can happen at any time. Earthquakes and tsunamis can happen at any time. And most earthquakes, well, most, well, all earthquakes, of course, are generated by seismic activity or some shaking of the ground. If there's a, um, other events happening, maybe landslides, you can actually generate earthquakes also. But the region has been a bit um, seismically active for the last few years. We have had quite a few um, earthquakes occurring off, just off Dominica, um, off Martinique. Yeah in and around, we're just off Venezuela also near, near closer to Trinidad, and we therefore must continue our heightened um, awareness and preparations for any, any major earthquake event. Forbes noted that SVG has experienced tsunamis in the past and that they are monitoring the earthquakes which have been taking place across the region. Yeah, I'm around Puerto Rico, U.S. Virgin Islands, around those plates. It is one of the regions that can actually generate tsunamis that can impact in Vincent and Grenadines. We have had earthquakes um, generating tsunamis in the past. In 1867 in particular, we would have had um, tsunamis affecting St. Vincent and the Grenadines from earthquakes just off U.S. Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico area. So it is an area that we continue to monitor because it is one that has a potential for generating tsunami, tsunamigenic um, events. Forbes used the opportunity to remind persons what to do and what not to do in the event that there is an earthquake or tsunami, adding that warnings for tsunamis may not be issued on time. You will always have a tsunami warning that may not happen. At, um, a tsunami that is generated from what we call a near source earthquake, which means the earthquake is very close to the, to the island, if the, if the waves are going to come within 30 minutes, it's unlikely that you will have the time to give you a warning because it takes us 25 minutes to actually get the information from the Pacific Tsunami Warning Center where the waves have been actually generated. By that time, the waves will be upon the country. So, so near source earthquakes and tsunamis, the signs are really, the, the earthquake is really the sign that you need to move to higher ground because you may not actually have a warning for a tsunami. But for earthquakes, we have to continue our preparation in country. We have to still adhere to the building codes, um, ensure that we don't have a lot of roots, objects um, hanging around so that can fall on you. And if you're in a, of course, if you're in out and about, you try to go to an open space because if there's, if a building is falling or shaking, things can fall on you. Infectious disease specialist Dr. Joseph Davy is encouraging Vincentians to ensure that their immune system is intact and to continue to take vitamin C to stave off viral illnesses, which she says have been getting more aggressive. 
Dr. Davy told our news desk that though there are no new mysterious flu viruses going around, the viral illnesses which have been circulating since mid last year have been getting worse and persons need to take all the necessary precautions to fend them off. Quite a few viruses circulating and they've been circulating even from mid of 2019 and they're, what should I say, they're virulent meaning that they're very aggressive. So what I've found is that people may have a viral illness and in two to three days they're having bronchitis because it just makes your immune system go totally to the floor and make you very ill. So it's not mystery but they're just more aggressive than the past. Okay. Well, everything is all about keeping your immune system intact as much as we can. So your vitamins, vitamin C, vitamin D, you get your good sunlight, proper diet, make sure you have all of your nutrients in there, your carbs, your proteins, all of the vitamins, and that would help with a good, good immune system. If people are sick, then they should stay home so they don't expose others to whatever they have, be it viral, bacterial, what have you. Dr. Davy explained the reason why the flu virus has become more aggressive in recent times. It's just time. The way viruses operate, they're very tiny, very smart. So yes, they, when they multiply, they change who they are. So our known medications or your known host defense, the body defense, no longer recognize this virus, so it's easy to attack our immune system. They find ways to evade our immune system. And as time goes by, they will, it will get worse. Even the, the fungus is getting worse. In the past, you just put on the cream and it will work. Two weeks later, you're fine again. Not so. Now you need two or three methods to get rid of fungi. So everything is evolving and becoming a whole lot more aggressive. Yeah. The police here have launched an investigation into the discovery of a human skull at Diamond yesterday. The police say they were alerted to the discovery of the human skull at the incinerator located at the, located at the Diamond landfill. The police are seeking the assistance of persons with information relating to this discovery to contact the divisional commander in charge of the South Central Division at telephone number 458-4200 or the Assistant Commissioner of Police in Charge of Crime at telephone number 4561339 or 4571211 extension 222 or the Officer in Charge of CID CRO MCU at 4561810 or 4571211 extension 216220 or any police station in SVG. The police say all information received will be treated confidentially. In an effort to reduce violence and conflict in schools, students of the SVG Community College's teacher education program are the first group to receive training at a restorative practices workshop which started today and finishes tomorrow at the Sunset Shores Hotel. The training is part of the Impact Justice Project carried out in 13 CARICOM countries and is being funded by the Canadian government in collaboration with the University of the West Indies. The Ministry of Education supports the initiative which Deputy Chief Education Officer Dixon Findlay says is needed to address violence and conflict in schools. People fear it. If you are fear with them and if you ensure that their voices are heard. Sometimes we look at the system and we only think about ourselves. It's all about us and what we want. But it's important as teachers that we look out for the interests of the parents, the students, and the community at large. In schools today, we have many students who are backed in a corner because their voices are not being heard. We don't hear from them, and sometimes when things happen, we start blaming each other. But it's time for us to be proactive, to ensure that what we do is to reduce things like violence in St. Vincent, bullying in schools, and to make St. Vincent and the Grenadines and the education system a better place for all of us. Finley told the participants to see themselves as agents of change as they have a critical role to play in putting an end to violence and conflict in schools. As young and vibrant and aspiring teachers, you 
are in a crucial position to make that difference. What you do in the classroom can impact not only on justice, but on the development of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. So I'm hoping that this workshop will help you to, to, will help to empower you and to ensure that what you do in the classroom and in your communities will benefit St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Director of the SVG Community College, Nigel Scott, says collaboration is important and having training programs on restorative practices can make a difference as teachers and students alike need to understand how disputes can be resolved. And they write what they want to and what they feel like. It means that more and more of our students aren't just experiencing the regular type of bullying, but there's now also cyberbullying. Some of our schools, unfortunately, throughout the region have become like war zones. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. In your own homes and in your own communities help you to be fashioners of peace and to restore dignity and pride to our communities and to our students. I'm delighted as director of the SVGCC to be a part of the process and to have been able to say yes, this is something that we can do. President of the Poultry Association expresses concern that the oversupply of eggs on the local market will hurt farmers' pockets. This and other stories coming up when we return with more local news. Stay with us. Local news sponsored in part by Flo. is now located on the third floor of the first St. Vincent Bank building. They have extended their range of products and furniture, including patio sets, closets, shoe casing, beds and mattresses, TV cabinets, and kitchen cupboards, just to name a few of their luxurious pieces, all at unbelievable prices. Don't just take my word for it. Check them out upstairs the first St. Vincent Bank building. Don't forget, they still have the best in windows, doors, burglar bars, rails, and vanities. See Star Limited, where quality and style is our motto. A funeral service should be one that you can be proud of. One that leaves lasting memories of your loved ones. And that's where you need the New Haven Funeral Home. We are proud of the quality and class we have brought to the industry. We are proud for having trained the very first certified embalmers in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We are proud of leading the way in terms of live streaming of funerals online so that your family members overseas could also be part of the celebration of life. We are constantly improving our services. We are driven by customer satisfaction and we are proud of all that we do. New Haven Funeral Home Breaking news! The greatest tile sale in the history of St. Vincent is back! With more, here's Thin Segment Rowdy Face. Thanks, Juan! Yes, free tiles for Christmas is back at Island Style Interiors, and there's real excitement in the air. Get this, buy 100 tiles at the regular price and get up to the next 25 tiles absolutely free. Wow, that is a great deal. Sure is, Juan. My wife's making me buy tiles right now before they sell out. Uh, Vincent? Oh well, this is Juan Cool Guy signing off and heading to Island Style in Arnos Vale for free tiles! Wait for me! Yay! Kidney disease is a growing concern around the world and here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Chronic kidney disease is a life-threatening condition which occurs when a person's kidneys are no longer able to clean the toxins and waste products from the blood or perform other kidney functions normally. When this happens, a person needs dialysis. Dialysis is where a machine takes over the function of the kidney and safely removes the poisonous waste from the blood. 
Since 2012, Health Solutions Inc. has operated a full-service hemodialysis facility in SVG that offers state-of-the-art equipment, courteous, well-trained staff, and a comfortable treatment environment. We're encouraging for early detection. Anyone who is either diabetic or hypertensive and has any questions or concerns, please contact us at 784-451-2836 or visit us at www.healthsolutionssvg.org. Make no excuse. Claim those fitness goals with a little help from Quartz. Save big on home fitness equipment when you shop with up to 15% off. Plus, get a chance to win a free spin bike. Shop today and pay nothing until March with Quartz Ready Finance. Make no excuses. Shop and win. Only at Quartz. Bringing value home. Conditions apply. Welcome back. Though the country accomplished a great achievement over the Christmas season of not having to import eggs, President of the Poultry Association, Adrian Lewis, said that farmers are now faced with a great challenge of having an oversupply of eggs. At a press briefing yesterday, the President said that the oversupply of eggs gave customers control of the pricing, which often is not profitable to farmers. And a lot of the farmers Somewhere along the line, what you're going to have, they call it in economics, where, where you call supply and demand. If you have more things than the people want, somewhere along the line, the customer control. And that's what you see happening with the eggs, the customer control in terms of the cost of the egg on the street. Because all of us who are in this production will know what we're selling this egg at, some of us not even cutting the cost to produce it. Because I just scenario to a lot of people. Two, three, uh, 20 years ago, there's a fella, a lot of the new farmers don't know him, there's a fella by the name of Mr. Murphy. He used to sell his eggs for $15 a flat. The feed at flour mill was $15. Today, the feed at flour mill for those who can't buy a hundred sack is $33. But yet, the eggs is on the street for $13. And you ask yourself, well, where we at? So, we have a challenge on hand. Lewis said that last year is the worst year he has ever seen with the lowest price for eggs on the local market and he believes farmers should come together to organize a suitable price for their eggs to cover their expenses. We ain't doing nothing. We could get this thing going far. I mean, I've made off of eggs before. This year is the worst year I've seen cost-wise. You see, some people quote 30 and 35. Yes, it's steep, but I'm telling you, from my little check that I've done, if we sell that egg at $15, we hardly make anything. That's the reality. That is numbers that I, my numbers that I just put together, like my work, workers, feed. Now, feed, take a junk of this thing. Even the crates. When I started, a case of crate, was sixty dollars. A crate that it doesn't box was sixty. A crate that this one was fifty. Today, you have to have one twenty. You have to have one hundred and thirty-five. Now, this is an up wall. Mr. Miner, sit down there. We team up together and brought a case, a case of this, these um, boxes. It costs us to do that. It's serious business. It's a business here for we to fly with. All I'm saying to us today. Today, today, today. I hope when we leave here today, we have one thing in mind, one goal. All of us doing eggs, but we need to organize ourselves. That's the only way we can maneuver this thing. One Lewis said, also identifying the problem with the oversupply of eggs on the market, Minister of Agriculture, Sabota Caesar, contacted him and said that he is willing to assist the association and farmers to get the eggs off the market. And he says, well, um, I see you have a problem with eggs, and we really need to talk. Well, then I realized, okay, somebody, I got listening here somewhere. And we just sit down, and he, he says, look, somewhere along the line, I got to help you guys, because you guys did a great accomplishment where we didn't import no eggs at all in the country, which is excellent business for any government, for any country. <laughs> and then he went on to say, he says, we got to come up with something to get this eggs off the street. 
You got to call some people who've been calling people back and forth. But a lot of the people we call in have the same problem we have. Is that X is easy business people in it. We have to come up with a, a way and a means so we could deal with it. And for the last three days, we've been on the road, myself, Desri, back there, doing checking to see how much, actually, how much X on the ground. Because if you're going to do anything, you've got to have the statistic to show what you have. And I tell you, I know a lot of the farmers because I know them personally. But what I saw on the ground, I say, we in for a ride. The consumer going to smile all the way. But the farmers going to be drained. And some of us might even fall out along the way. Meanwhile, Deputy Chief Agriculture Officer Renato Gums commended farmers for a good job done with egg production and assured them that the Ministry of Agriculture will do everything to sustain the poultry industry and to get them reasonable returns for their produce. To expend some funds to get to this point. And in fact, the year gone by here, 2019, we had imported 75,600 layer chicks at a cost of $125,000. And you know, well, with layer chicks, you know, when you, some just come cock and some, some them, when you get 75,000 chicks, maybe, you know, 50% of them might be cock or something like that. But we, that's the figure we imported. But we were able to do it on time and the system was well organized and the, the hatchery worked well. You know, sometimes we get some challenges with the hatchery. Now going forward, I must say, first of all, let me commend the farming community to get us to this point. Um, without them, we would not be able to be here sitting down today saying what we are saying. And, but going forward, we want to be able to sustain the industry and ensure that it's beneficial to both the consumer and the producer. So we want to ensure that the farmer itself receive a reasonable return for their, their produce. The prize given ceremony for the 2019 Nine Mornings Festival will take place this Saturday, 11th January from 9.30 a.m. at the Peace Memorial Hall. At the ceremony, prizes will be distributed in the various Vinlek community lighting competitions, which also include Best Lit Private House, Best Lit Garden, Best Lit Commercial Building in Kingstown, and Best Nativity Scene. At Saturday's gathering, there will also be the much-anticipated announcements of winners in the following categories. Best Nine Mornings Community, Best Christmas Community, Best Community on Parade, Best Community Song, and Most Popular Local Christmas Song. In results announced already for the 2019 festivities, Point Village took the title for a seventh year in the community lighting competition, with Olivia De Silva of Canaan winning Best Lit Private Home and Best Nativity Scene. The Rosa Recreational Park took the Best Lit Garden title. Addresses at Saturday's prize-giving ceremony will come from Minister of Culture Cecil Mackey, representatives of the major sponsors, the National Lotteries Authority and Vinnick, with a special presentation on Nine Nights. The SVG Nine Mornings Committee has hailed 2019 as another successful year with good programs and large attendances by the public across the country, while attracting a significant amount of visitors and returning nationals. Nine Mornings remains unique to St. Vincent and the Grenadines, with the festivities being celebrated under the theme, Christmas is We. Ghana Elections Commission says onus on parties to ensure candidates fit and proper for upcoming election. This from the region when we return. Stay with us. That was a local news segment. The Ever Ready Funeral Home at French's is your friend in times of grief. With over 40 years experience, they are prepared to take care of all your funeral arrangements. Embalming, lowering device service, grave mattresses, carpeting, vaults, tombs and wreaths. Arrangements for television obituaries. Cremation is available upon request. Ever Ready Funeral Home offers the finest in caskets and coffins local and imported. So, in your time of need, call Everready Funeral Home at any time. 456-1494 Everready Funeral Home. Offering service above self.
juicy, juicy. Drink today, juicy, juicy. It's the same great taste, juicy, juicy. The original drink, it's a minty thing. Get your red and banana, pineapple, juicy cola, orange or apple. Juicy for you and for your neighbor. It's a minty thing. Enjoy it, juicy, the original minty thing. The big hardware stores have been ripping off Vincentians for years with their high prices. They <laughs> general hardware with the lowest prices ever in SVG. Now, the big guys are scrambling to drop their prices. But they still can't beat the general. So don't let them fool you. General hardware still has the best prices on lumber, plywood, and steel. And even with a sale, the general beats that too. So go on, compare prices. Then come to general hardware and save dollars every day. Because nobody beats the general nobody general hardware supplies located next to evet's pork city in honestville call 453-9000 26 retail shops and restaurants open now for your convenience at the cruise ship terminal at the cruise ship terminal it's a great venue to rent for functions secure parking rate and be at the cruise ship terminal Convenient parking at the Kingstown Cruise Ship Terminal and the Geese Compound. The Kingstown Cruise Ship Terminal has 26 retail shops and restaurants with a variety of food offerings. A great secure venue for your function with a great ambience. Also, we offer lock storage service. The Cruise Ship Terminal. Convenience for you. At the Cruise Ship Terminal. The Cruise Ship Terminal. Make no excuse. Claim those fitness goals with a little help from Quartz. Save big on home fitness equipment when you shop with up to 15% off. Plus, get a chance to win a free spin bike. Shop today and pay nothing until March with Quartz Ready Finance. Make no excuses. Shop and win. Only at Quartz. Bringing value home. Conditions apply. The regional news segment sponsored by Massey Stores and Luigi Limited. Massey Stores Pharmacy. Massey Stores is the one for you. Massey Stores is the one for you. We have competitive prices for your prescriptions too. We have 10% off for of seniors, children under three. We're here for your convenience. Prescription services. Leave your prescriptions while you shop. shop, shop. And our professional pharmacists will help you out. Massey Stars Pharmacy. Massey Stars Pharmacy. Where your health is your own. Located at Massey Stars Kingstown. Contact us at 453-9112. Welcome to all news from the region. With nomination day for Guyana's elections just a few days away, the Guyana Elections Commission is hoping that the political parties and their candidates will be honest about the suitability and qualification of those persons who will be listed as candidates. We hear more in this report. At a media session today hosted by the Ghana Press Association, the Public Relations Officer of the Ghana Elections Commission, Yolanda Ward, explained that the Ghana Elections Commission has no authority to scrutinize the accuracy of information being provided by the political parties and their candidates, although the electoral laws set out detailed guidelines. Well, as far as we know, the law speaks about candidates being qualified to be elected for the National Assembly. But there is no detail there that says this is what the person must have or possess. But the law speaks about the candidates being qualified to be members of the National Assembly. But of course that language is vague. There is no details there to say this is what it should be. I think it will be the onus um, on political parties in the selection of their candidates to ensure um, that that is done. Although the Constitution of Ghana prohibits persons who hold dual citizenship from contesting the national elections for a seat in Parliament, there have been many cases over the years where that was taking place. It was only recently that the court made a definitive statement on the issue, following a no-confidence vote against the government. The GCOM Public Relations Officer touched on that issue today. I am not sure particularly from GCOM's end in terms of a challenge to a statutory declaration, but as it says, 
um, legally, it's a legal form, it's a statutory declaration, and therefore it is the expectation that um, as candidates on a list that you will be um, adhering to what are the statutory requirements on those forms. I know that there is another side of that question that many of you here attempted to ask, but I will not want to, um, to get into greater detail on that part of the question, but it is a statutory form, and the expectation is that as candidates signing those forms to um, be part of an election, that they adhere to what are those statutory requirements. Ms. Ward also said the Ghana Elections Commission has been looking closely at the electoral laws, especially in the wake of the court cases that came after the no-confidence vote. One former government minister in Trinidad and Tobago says unless there is an improvement in the country's export earnings, there will not be any improvement in the foreign exchange shortage at any time soon. This from Mariano Brown, who also noted there has not been any incentive for the non-energy sector to expand their businesses locally. We hear more in this CNC3 Business Watch report. The last five years, in terms of the foreign exchange situation, we've had a net decline in 2015 of 1.6 billion. Uh, in 2016, the smallest decline, 468 million. In 2017, 1.1 billion. In 2018, minus 739 million. In 2019, up to November, 642. This is former finance minister Mariana Brown paints a worrying picture of this country's economy in 2020. If there's no improvement in the foreign exchange situation, and in other critical sectors, including manufacturing. Noting that a direction of foreign exchange has been trending downwards, Brown predicts it's more than likely to continue in this year. Offering his recommendations, Brown says... Well, there are only two ways that you can address that. If demand is greater than supply, you have to adjust the price. Right? And we've literally suspended belief with regard to what we call a floated exchange rate system. Brown noted the trending position where some of the local manufacturers have moved out of TNT, partly because the ease of doing business in this country remains challenging. Meanwhile, the University of the West Indies and the University of Coventry in England have launched a UB Coventry Institute for Industry Academic Partnership, dedicated to the promotion of an innovative ecosystem across the Caribbean region. The new institute will complement the UE's leadership role in promoting innovation as a key driver of economic growth. It also supports its quest to become more entrepreneurial by fostering increasing partnerships between the UE and industry, among other strategies. The institute will aid the enhancement of international competitiveness in the Caribbean private sector through research and economic partnership. Millions of workers are on strike in India, protesting the government's economic policies. This from the international scene when we return. Stay with us. That was a regional news segment sponsored by Massey Stores SVG Limited. Massey Stores Pharmacy is the one for you. Is the one for you. We have competitive prices for your prescriptions too. We have 10% off for of seniors, children under three. We're here for your convenience. Prescription services. Leave your prescriptions while you shop. shop, shop. And our professional pharmacists will help you out. Massive stars, I'm saying. Massive stars, I'm saying. Your health is your own. Located at Massive Stores, Kingstown. Contact us at 453-9112. Quality products, 
Quality care, low prices, great customer service, all at QCare Pharmacy. QCare leads the way, providing all your pharmaceutical needs, a variety of personal care products, and so much more. Located on Halifax Street, telephone number 451-2690, QCare Pharmacy, where the Q stands for quality. Your home is a long-term investment, including most of its features. So when purchasing windows, ensure to acquire a superior product like Kendra's double-sliding heavy-duty window, optional burglar bars, protective insect screens, rubber-sealed thick glass, stainless steel tracking system, and rollers, secure and durable locking system on both panels. Inferior products on the market fail to secure your home effectively. So be on alert for inferior imitation. Key things to avoid are problematic latching locks, a poor tracking system, making daily operation of your windows difficult and sometimes impossible, poorly built in six screens, glued on copycat designs, thin and easy to break glass. Always choose the affordable brand from Kendra's Aluminum Windows and Products, built on a tradition of excellence. Make no excuse. Claim those fitness goals with a little help from Quartz. Save big on home fitness equipment when you shop with up to 15% off. Plus, get a chance to win a free spin bike. Shop today and pay nothing until March with Quartz Ready Finance. Make no excuses. Shop and win. Only at Quartz. Bringing value home. Conditions apply. SVG TV International News segment sponsored in part by Careers Distribution Limited. For over 60 years, we have sought only the best beans grown in the lush hills of the Andean Mountains of Colombia. Cold Cafe. We carefully select only the very best beans and roast them to delicious perfection by our experienced roast masters. Cold Cafe. Cold Cafe treats you to one of the finest coffees in the world. Available in classic and decaffeinated. A rich flavor and aroma that can only come from one hundred percent Colombian coffee. Cold Cafe. Indulge yourself in our delicious cappuccinos available in classic mocha and French vanilla. Enjoy them hot to warm your soul or cool to cool you down. Either way, they are incredibly satisfying. So go ahead, enjoy Cold Cafe and treat yourself. Welcome to the international news. Millions of workers in India are on strike at least 10 trade unions across the country are protesting against the government's economic policies. They are blocking train tracks and shutting down banks as they rally against Prime Minister Narendra Modi's labor reforms. Among the most disaffected are farmers. Rural poverty has become a major issue with suicide rates high among farmers struggling with debt. We hear more in this report. Impassioned stories brought to song by this group of farmers as one by one they take to the microphone. This group of several hundred is being replicated across the state of Punjab on a national day of protest. It's not just farmers, but it's students and unions are calling for the country at large to come out on strike and protest against government economic policy and social issues. For the farmers here, not just in Punjab, but in places like Telangana and Andhra Pradesh and West Bengal. The big issue for them is trying to get a minimum price on their crops of wheat and rice, but also to try and bring to the notice of the government in New Delhi the ongoing crisis of farmer suicides. As many as four farmers kill themselves each day here in India across the country, and it's a real worry. And of course, the economic woes and social problems that India is facing at the moment with regards to registration and identity are a real concern here. They're hoping that their voices and their chants will be heard in New Delhi and that Prime Minister Narendra Modi's government will listen to those concerns and act on them. A Ukrainian airliner with 176 passengers and crew on board crashed near Tehran's Imam Khomein International Airport early on Wednesday. Iran state television said all those on board, majority of them Iranians, were killed. Rescue crew and emergency personnel pick through what's left near Tehran's Imam Khomeini airport. 
Video released on social media shows a faint light flickering, then a fireball. The Boeing jet had taken off from Tehran early on Wednesday after being delayed for almost an hour. After taking off from Imam Khomeini International Airport, it crashed between Parand and Shahriar. An investigation team from the National Aviation Department was dispatched to the location after the news was announced. This flight tracker shows the plane was scheduled to head to Borispil International Airport in the Ukrainian capital of Kiev. Minutes after Boeing 737-800 jet left the runway, it went down in a suburb southwest of the Iranian capital. Boeing says it's gathering more information. The 737-800 is a common single-aisle twin-engine jetliner used for short to medium-range flights. It's an older model than the Boeing 737 MAX. That's been grounded for nearly 10 months following two deadly crashes. It's a huge setback for the company that tried to regain trust and bring the 737 MAX back to the skies. And Boeing would likely have questions to answer too from the families of the victims of this crash. And that's the news. Sports is just ahead, but before that, we take a look at the local weather forecast. SVG TV International News segment was sponsored in part by Careers Distribution Limited. Let's go! Turn on the fun! With Chocolisto and its great flavor, enriched with vitamins and minerals that help you grow. Chocolisto makes you big and strong. The weather report sponsored in part by General Hardware, Budge Mart Limited. Listen, the big hardware stores have been ripping off Vincentians for years with their high prices. They are general hardware with the lowest prices ever in SVG. Now, the big guys are scrambling to drop their prices, but they still can't beat the general. So, don't let them fool you. General hardware still has the best prices on lumber, plywood, and steel. And even with a sale, the general beats that too. So, go on, compare prices. Then come to general hardware and save dollars every day. Because nobody beats the general. Nobody. General Hardware Supplies, located next to Evet's Pork City in Arnesville. Call 453 9000. Bebin, the diaper made with the very best for the very best, keeps up with them on the go. With a wetness indicator, Bebin keeps your child dry and happy. For quality and affordability, choose Bebin every time. Bebin Premium. With a forecast, present conditions partly cloudy and breezy, winds east northeast at 22 km per hour, temperature 26.6 degrees Celsius, relative humidity 76%. Barometric pressure 1015.9 millibars, 24 hour rainfall trees. Today's maximum temperature 28.6 degrees Celsius, today's minimum temperature 25.9 degrees Celsius. Sunset today at 5.53 p.m. and sunrise tomorrow at 6.30 a.m. All forecast, partly cloudy, hazy and breezy with a few scattered showers. And our synopsis, Atlantic high pressure system is the dominant feature. The weather report was sponsored in part by General Hardware, Budge Mart Limited. Bevin. The diaper made with the very best for the very best keeps up with them on the go. With a wetness indicator, Bebin keeps your child dry and happy. For quality and affordability, choose Bebin every time. Bebin Premium. Sing a raise your family, so we tell everything you need for your kitchen and more. Top brands and appliances, TVs, fridges, cookers. We make your life so easy. Just come in and see. A wide range of furniture. Right here at Singer. Affordable beds and mattresses. Right here at Singer. Washing machines to make your laundry clean and fresh. Singer is a family.
store that gives you the best, the best higher purchase deal. Ride right her out, singer. We'll outfit your home. Ride right her out, singer. In the number one family store. It's us for singer. Welcome to the Evening Sports. Alzari Joseph and Evan Lewis guided West Indies to a relatively comfortable five-wickets win over Ireland in their first one-day international in Bridgetown yesterday. Joseph ripped through Ireland, who elected to bat first at Kensington Oval, taking four for 32 as they were rolled for just 180. Locke and Tucker, 31, top scored for Ireland in the opening game of three one-day internationals, but they struggled after being reduced to 88 for six. Lewis ensured there were few hiccups in the chase for the Windies, as the opener held firm despite wickets falling around him, the host reaching their target with 100 balls to spare. Brandon King, 20, Roston Chase, 19, and Nicholas Puran, 17, provided enough support for Lewis, who dominated. The left-hander hit 13 fours and two sixes on his way to an unbeaten 99 off as many balls as he fell as agonizingly short of a third won the international century. Needing one to win and sitting on 95, Lewis produced a huge drive as he chased a ton, but it bounced just before the rope and went for four. The second game of the series is in Bridgetown on Thursday. No ball technology will be used during the limited over series between West Indies and Ireland, which started in Barbados yesterday, the International Cricket Council announced. The initiative, which is still on the trial, was used during the recent limited over series between India and West Indies on the subcontinent. Under the new innovation, the third umpire will have sole responsibility for monitoring and determining no balls. According to Cricket's world governing body, the results from the ongoing trial will be used to determine whether the system will be firm, formally introduced over the long term. No ball technology was tested for the first time four years ago during a one-day series between England and Pakistan. West Indies are hosting Ireland in three one-day internationals and three 2020 internationals. Veteran Wendy's all-rounder Dwayne Bravo has been revealed as the face of 10 PL World Cup, a United Arab Emirates-based tennis ball cricket tournament. The 36-year-old Bravo will be heavily involved in the proceedings from start to finish, beginning with the tournament launch press conference in February to a celebrity appearance on the final day. The tournament, now in its third year, has garnered increased interest for this edition, with a reported 40 teams in pursuit of just 20 spots. The first two editions of the tournament saw 16 teams take part. Bravo has indicated his delight at both the association with and taking part in the tournament. The tournament is expected to take place between the 8th to the 13th of March. The evening sports will continue in a moment. Stay with us. My sister's pharmacy is the one for you. Is the one for you. We have competitive prices for your prescriptions too. We have ten percent off for seniors, children under three. We're here for your convenience. Prescription services. Leave your prescriptions while you shop. And our professional pharmacists will help you out. Located at Massey Stores, Kingstown. Contact us at 453-9112. Moments Pharmacy. Why choose us? We have all the prescriptions and over-the-counter medications. Personal care products, lowest price guaranteed. Located conveniently next to the Bank of SVG on Grenville Street. Opening hours, Monday to Thursday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. Friday, 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Email us, bowmanspharmacy at yahoo.com. Call us today at 456-2235 or 593-3918. Moments Pharmacy. Easy to find and ready to serve you. Serve you. Serve you. Tourism has many benefits to St. Vincent and the Grenadines. It creates growth and a boost in economic activities, infrastructure development, job creation, entrepreneurship, and is a source of foreign exchange earnings. Supermarkets and vendors, bars, restaurants, taxis, tour guides, 
hotels, service providers, and many more all benefit directly from income gained through the tourism industry. Taxes collected from visitors to our country help St. Vincent's economy and its growth. Tourism is everyone's business. Live it, love it, embrace it. Tourism is everyone's business. Yeah. Live it, love it, embrace it. Layer experience. We cater for all of your psychological needs. We promote holistic wellness, balancing the mind, body, and spirit. I am Dr. Joselle Miller, CEO and founder of the Valeo Experience. Contact us today. We are willing and ready to serve you. Fitness goals with a little help from Quartz. Save big on home fitness equipment when you shop with up to 15% off. Plus, get a chance to win a free spin bike. Shop today and pay nothing until March with Quartz Ready Finance. Make no excuses. Shop and win. Only at Quartz. Bringing value home. Conditions apply. Welcome back. Anthony Davis was hurt in a hard fall during the Los Angeles Lakers win in the NBA on Tuesday, while Carmelo Anthony delivered a game winner. Davis fell awkwardly on his back during the third quarter of the Lakers' 117-87 thrashing of the New York Knicks. The forward, who had 5 points, 6 rebounds and 5 assists, managed to walk to the locker room slowly after the fall and has reportedly been cleared of a serious injury. LeBron James saw the Lakers to a sixth straight win thanks to 31 points, 5 rebounds and 5 assists. Anthony hit a pull-up jump shot with 3.3 3 seconds remaining to see the Portland Trail Blazers pass the Toronto Raptors 101-99. to He finished with a game-high 28 points on 10 of 17 shooting in a match-winning performance. Vincentian track and field athlete Chantel Williams left the state on Monday to pursue her athletic and academic career at the Benedict College in South Carolina. Williams, who has been an outstanding athlete over the past five years, representing SVG at the 2015 Commonwealth Youth Games, the World Youth Games, as well as the 2016 Carifta Games and Wynwood Islands Games on three different occasions, received a full four-year scholarship. Proud coach Paminus Ballantyne says that he is grateful for the opportunity which Chantel was awarded, stressing that academics go hand in hand with sports. come to sports we we're still behind by a big margin especially track and field that you don't even have a track and we have athletes who fighting to go to the olympic games to represent st vincent and grenadines so i'm grateful that at least one of our athletes another one of our athletes um get an opportunity to go in to go to further um, her study and also um her athletic career and I'm so grateful that um, we're getting a track this year and other athletes will get even a better opportunity because they will be into a better position so that they could use the track at Diamond so that they could uh, harness their skills. I will encourage any athletes, study their book because you could pick up an injury and after the injury, you never could tell. Your education is always there for you to fall back on. When when you're into sports in general, focus both academic and also on the track because it go hand in hand. They are life after running, they are life after football, they are life after cricket. And that's how we end sports this evening. We'll be right back to wrap things up.
Welcome to Finishing and Furnishing, where a warm and friendly staff awaits you. At Finishing and Furnishing, you feel like you're in a home away from home. You will find a wide range of bedroom, living room, and appliances displayed in a stunning setting. When dealing with furniture, you need to take into consideration the colors of your room. That's why at our Penta Studio, we supply the best in interior and exterior paints. Have wooden furniture? Well, we also have stains, sealers, liqueurs to get that matte or gloss finish of your desire. So give us a call at 457-2206 and come on down to Finishing and Furnishing today and start building the home of your dreams. Bereavement or loss of life in your family could come as a shock. That's why it's important to always focus on the things that made you happy and the memories that you shared. At Memorial Funeral Home, our warm and friendly staff ensures that your experience is a pleasant one. Our sensitive staff is understanding, caring, and all-knowing when it comes to selecting your underground furniture and the things that you need to celebrate life. Well, I am a furniture manufacturer and I manufacture furniture for all purposes. At this time, I am interested in manufacturing some underground furniture. You can purchase these underground furniture at the Memorial Funeral Home in Mexico. So call us at 458-8888 or 530-5694 and let's celebrate life. Make no excuse. Claim those fitness goals with a little help from Quartz. Save big on home fitness equipment when you shop with up to 15% off. Plus, get a chance to win a free spin bike. Shop today and pay nothing until March with Quartz Ready Finance. Make no excuses. Shop and win. Only at Quartz. Bringing value home. Conditions apply. And now for a second look at the headlines. Nemo monitoring seismic activities across the region and encourages Vincentians to remain on the alert. Guyana Elections Commission says onus on parties to ensure candidates fit and proper for upcoming election. Millions of workers are on strike in India protesting the government's economic policies and in sports, Lewis hits undefeated 99 as Windies defeat Ireland. On behalf of all of us here at SVG TV, thanks for viewing. I'm Yvesta Bowens. Don't forget to visit our Facebook page for a recap of the news and daily headlines. Also tune in for SVG TV's News in 15 at 12.45 p.m. weekdays. Have a good evening. The big hardware stores have been ripping off Vincentians for years with their high prices. They pay general hardware with the lowest prices ever in SVG. Now, the big guys are scrambling to drop their prices, but they still can't beat the general. So, don't let them fool you. General hardware still has the best prices on lumber, plywood, and steel. And even with a sale, the general beats that too. So, go on, compare prices. Then come to general hardware and save dollars every day. Because Nobody beats the General. Nobody. General Hardware Supplies, located next to Evet's Pork City in Arnesville. Call 453-9000. LA Unique Upholstery. Quality at a low cost. We build to suit your needs. Contact us at Redemption Shops, 457-0182 or Stony Grounds, 453-2089. Make no excuse. Claim those fitness goals with a little help from Quartz. Save big on home fitness equipment when you shop with up to 15% off. Plus, get a chance to win a free spin bike. Shop today and pay nothing until March with Quartz Ready Finance. Make no excuses. Shop and win. Only at Quartz. Bringing value home. Conditions apply.